Hi guys and welcome to another edition of Off The Crossbar Daily Roundup video and yes uh, we are looking at some more national teams going to the World Cup and uh, yeah I think we're going to try and cram as many into one video as possible I've got two more to do uh, Friday's video is going to be the predictions for the World Cup and my, like my final thoughts leading into that tournament we are going to look at three nations today, three nations tomorrow. Today we're looking at Argentina, Spain and Senegal. I'm not going to go through the entire squad. I don't want to spend too long trying to uh, cipher through all of these different nations. I do think Argentina has got a re really big bolstered squad. I have picked a few players out from this uh, squad that are going mainly ones that are in the Premier League, ones that we know and uh, we'll be getting behind. So without further ado, we're going to have a look at the Argentina squad and obviously a name that jumps straight out of me is the young lad at Manchester City and that is Alaves. Uh, not quite getting the run that he deserves, but he has scored quite a few goals this season so far. So big things for him going into this World Cup. Obviously, Argentina will be looking to a figurehead, somebody what's going to move them forward, as obviously we'll get to that player in a moment. I know that springs to mind when you think Argentina was one player, but we all know he's going to be the main figurehead of that squad. But yeah, Alves has made this squad, and so has Mac Callister of Brighton. Uh, this is quite a shock, maybe not a shock, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, McAllister's had a fantastic season for Brighton so far. Uh, Brighton exceeding expectations, that's for sure. They're doing better than most people would have thought in the Premier League, to be fair. Uh, so yeah, Brighton player, McAllister gets into the uh, Argentinian squad. Then we've got Martinez of Manchester United. Uh, only joined this season. Uh, playing okay, did have a bit of a rough start. But uh, with Man United starting to find the feet, he started to find his feet in the Premier League. So, yeah, Martinez has made the squad. Others to mention, and they're the fable three. That is Lionel Messi, uh, Angel Di Maria, and, of course, Paolo Dybala. Obviously, these are the main players for Argentina going into this World Cup. Messi, this could be his last. But, yeah, this is like the pinnacle. This is what you want to go for. I think Ronaldo is in a similar situation with Portugal, where it could be his last World Cup. So, yeah, the, the main prize between the two greatest players of our time is getting that World Cup trophy. I'm sure Messi might have that little bit of an edge going into this World Cup. But, yeah, talking about having an edge, we are going to have a look at Spain. Spain have won the World Cup before in the past. Got great pedigree, got a great lot of set of young players. We are going to have a look at the ones that are playing in the Premier League. And that is Astolo Quetta of Chelsea. We've got David Rea of Brentford. David Rea of Brentford getting in. He's, I think, the third choice goalkeeper. Then we've got Laporte of Man City. Uh, there is plenty of other players, I'm sure, flitted throughout the squad. Noted uh, absentee is Thiago of Liverpool. Don't know why he's not at the World Cup, but benefits Liverpool in the end, I suppose. But yeah, that is a massive uh, uh, missing player, so to speak. But they've got the similar. They've got Basquets, uh, Jordi Alba, uh, Maratta, and Danny Almo. Danny Almo's had a fantastic season with uh, Leipzig. So, yeah, Busquets is in a very similar situation. This could be his last World Cup. So, yeah, very interesting. Spain are kind of like an outside bet for the World Cup, to be quite honest with you. The sleeping giants, you know, they either perform absolutely amazing or they don't quite get hit the mark. But, yeah, Spain, obviously, that's why we're having a look at that. Kind of going to have a look at Senegal. That is our third nation for this video. I do feel that we are going to be missing out Portugal and various other nations, and I can only apologise for that. But I've tried to just cram in as much in this week with the, the national squads. And uh, Senegal has massive implications because I did do a video 
the first week and I said that Saudi on Mane would not be going to the World Cup. Senegal have decided that, you know, that's not true. <laughs> and they have selected him for their World Cup, their World Cup squad. Uh, he's not guaranteed to play in the opening matches. So he'll probably miss the group stages, but I think they're looking to introduce him into the knockout rounds, which is quite clever. Very smart of them to do so, but it, it is a weird one. Uh, also, other players to note, Kula Pali of Chelsea's uh, uh, fitted in really well with the Chelsea team. He's a great defender. I think he was at Napoli the year before, or either Napoli or Lazio. I'm not 100% sure which one it was. Uh, but you've got Kanate, you've got Ishmael Saar, just to name a few of the Senegalese stars. Obviously, there's Mendy, Cissé, or you can go through all the squad. <laughs> <coughs> Very talented nation, one of probably the top African nations in this World Cup. Definitely one to actually keep your eye on. Uh, they do face Holland the opening week. So that's going to be a very interesting game. I think that Just Nick is covering that on his channel. I am covering England, Iran and Wales, USA on the uh, the second day, which is the Monday, the 21st. So, yeah, make sure that you're excited for them. So, yeah, that's a slight look at some of the, the nations going through. Obviously, Portugal, we can quickly mention them. They've got the likes of Ronaldo, Uh Bruno Fernandes, Leo, Leo Felix, very, very talented nation, uh, will probably do okay in this tournament. Right, we've got tomorrow's video, we'll have Belgium, Holland and Uruguay, they are the last nations that I'm going to look at. Obviously, other, like... Injury news is that Son has made that South Korean team, so he is going to the World Cup after fears that he might not be. But a big, massive body blow. I announced it yesterday that uh, the French national team, Nakanu, who was on that squad, has had to pull out. He's had a training injury. So, yes, he has been replaced. Uh, unfortunately for him, I did think he was going to be one of the brightest stars of this year's World Cup. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to see that. So, yeah, that's it. it's a big, massive body blow for him and for France. But, yeah, France have got plenty of backup strikers in that squad. So, Giroud, Benzema, Mbappe, De Guzman. I mean, they're stacked. But Nakano was just going to be one of them players that would have really shone. It's a shame he's not going to get this opportunity at this time. But, yeah, so that's it. That is the video. Obviously, lots of stuff in there. Some great nations do think that Argentina have got a great opportunity this year. Spain, massive outsiders, could be a dark horse. But yeah, we are going to look at the final three nations tomorrow in tomorrow's video. So I've been Dave in Real Life Football. You have been awesome. And remember to keep it real. And I'll see you tomorrow at five. Bye for now.